guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording on Sunday, August 18th, and we're talking about Kevin Garnett. Shout out Kevin Garnett for giving us Kevin. Whoa. Shout out Kevin Garnett for giving us um, content in the middle of August. August is like kind of almost over ish. Like it's closer to over than the middle. So we're over halfway. We're, we're chugging through. The Olympics gave us enough content to push through August, which is good. Um, we're going to do more of the, you know, best play of the Celtic season for the players and stuff. We'll do Drew. We'll do Derek. We'll do KP stuff like that. Um, best game, I should say. And we'll, we'll go through. We should do a best play video too, like best plays. I think that'd be fun. Mm. Um, but today, KG gave us some content to give a little break on those videos. Talked about Tatum <laughs> in the Olympics and gave a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus, of a new perspective to put on it. Um, said he's glad Tatum didn't play. Uh, effectively just saying like, yeah, it's good. Said it was great that he didn't have to play a lot of minutes. Uh, he's coming off the finals. I know Derek White and Drew Holiday were there, but to play big minutes for USA, I'm glad they didn't need Tatum. I'm glad he actually got to rest and chill. Uh, when he was getting DMPs, I bet you there's a conversation with him and Grant Hill with management about coming on the team and being able to rest. When you win, you get a shortened off season. Everybody gets four or five months off, and you probably get, what, two, two and a half? And then it's right back in the lab. So I think that's a fresh spin. I didn't even really consider the fact that maybe Tatum actually did talk about Grant Hill about sitting. I don't think that happened considering the way he responded to it all and stuff like that, like his mom and stuff. So I, I don't think he had those conversations, but I do think the rest could be good for Tatum. Cause I mean, since this dude's gotten the league, he's had what, like two off seasons where he actually rested. So maybe, maybe it's even, even the 2021 off season, like after they got bounced in the first round by Brooklyn, like that was a short off season. Yeah. That happened. I mean, but he played in the Olympics that summer and he played in the Olympics. Yeah. Cause the 2020 Olympics were bumped to 2021 because of COVID. So yeah, he literally has probably never had a good last off season was the first one. 2023. He didn't do anything last even summer. then. It was shorter though. Cause he played was, in the conference finals. Still yeah. Deep, yeah. Deep playoff. Run. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. I didn't even think of this perspective. I was thinking more of like, okay, like it's going to motivate him. I mean, going into the off season, I think we were all very hyper aware of like, oh man, these guys are going to play in the Olympics. And they just like played all the way into June, winning the finals. Like, oh, they're going to be fatigued when next season comes around. And I still believe that. Like, I'm not, I'm not rooting for it. Like, I'm not looking forward to the times where guys are going to be out with nagging injuries. But I do think it may catch up to them where they've played basketball at a high level for too long without a significant break and their bodies have had enough. That doesn't mean I think they're going to have serious injuries, but it's just going to be nagging and wear and tear happens. So KG's point music to my ears. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even think of it. It's a good point. Yeah. I mean, Tatum played like, let's go through, let's go through, see if I can remember. So <clears throat> Tatum's first year in the league, uh, rookie year, sophomore year, I think was just normal. Um, then 18, 19, he came in and then that off season, 2019 played in FIBA, right? In 2019 FIBA. Yes. That was the Kemba. So yeah, they were bad, but he played, um, then 1920 comes around and that's the season. It all got screwed. So everyone got like a month break. So he didn't get a break that summer because of COVID. And then the season mm -hmm. was started soon after the bubble. Um, then 2020, 2021 came around. Uh, and then that summer he played in the Olympics. And then 21, 22 came around and they went to the finals. So they got a shortened break. And I feel like he did something in 2022. Am I crazy? Maybe 2022. Maybe <laughs> I don't think he might have so. done I don't, I don't think he played in anything like that, but he played in the finals. And so he had a deep run yes. and then didn't, you know, get a break really there. Uh, and then 22, 23 comes around and then he finally gets a little bit of a break, even though they played deep in the playoffs. And this year he plays in the Olympics. It's just constant, constant, you know, no break for Tatum summers. I feel like there was something in there that's not an Olympic that we're forgetting about that he did in the summer, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know what else there would be that he would have done in the summer that wouldn't have gotten him a break. It doesn't hurt at any point. Knock on wood. No, Tatum's I mean, there, there's only healthy, FIBA but... and there's only the Olympics. There's no other competitions, really. I know, but I feel like he did something, and I can't remember what it was. Maybe I'm crazy. I might just be what talking would he have my done. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. I don't know, um, but I just feel like I'm we're forgetting something that he did that we we're like, oh, that's another thing that wasn't really a break. But I, I, just, I have no idea. Let's what it was see, this rookie year they so. play deep and they lose to Cleveland. The next year they lose to Milwaukee, and that was the shit show summer when Kyrie and Al both leave. Kemba joins, and I think they played FIBA, or maybe yeah, no, no that was definitely the FIBA year. 
And then Kemba plays, and they go into the bubble, and then that's a short off season. Then 2021, that's a short off season, and they has the Olympics. Yeah, no, I don't think 2022 is the finals. Yeah, I think I'm just. And then last year he didn't do anything besides play deep in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I think it was just he had a deep run. I don't know why I'm thinking he did something that he didn't do. Anyways, um, the point is Tatum doesn't take days off. And if maybe, I mean, your theory has always been playing more helps you stay healthy more often. And so I think Tatum's a good example of that because he's played 60 plus games every game of his career and 74 plus in each of his last three. Um, and those two 66, 64 seasons were shortened years anyways. So he's always been healthy. It is crazy to look at Tatum's basketball reference because like he's had some sort of recognition in every single season, except for his sophomore year, which is impressive. Um, and this year's curse anyways, it's no joke in Boston lore. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think KG's take that Tatum <clears throat> sitting is a good thing is one that no one really talked about. Um, again, I mean, we said this time and time again, we've talked about it a million times. It doesn't really matter that Tatum didn't play in the Olympics. He won a gold medal anyways. That's what matters to him. I am excited to see how he, response next season after all that shit um i'm <laughs> it's very weird but i'm kind of excited to see him play with the short hair again <laughs> in his all this uniform because we haven't in a while it's just a random thing um but i think it looks cleaner i um, mean when it happened we had that we had the conversation on the pod it's up on the channel as a short where i was like the threes watch out he's gonna be able to shoot threes now and since he's gone o of 16 has amazing yeah anymore. yeah Maybe, maybe the hair doesn't matter, unfortunately. But the stats, you're right. the stats would tell you that he shoots threes better when he has shorter hair. In a Celtics uniform, maybe. Yeah. In a Celtics uniform. <clears throat> Hopefully. I hope the that's The problem right. is all of the all NBAs, all the recognition, all the superstardom has come with the curls. It is true. When's the last time you played a season with the buzz cut? Buzz cut last one was 2020, I think, in the bubble. Was bubble buzz cut? Yeah. Yeah, it he was. He did pretty good that season. He was good. That, that bubble was the first time I was like, holy shit, this guy's incredible. <clears throat> he was all NBA third team that year and all star. Yeah. So he, he's done it before. <clears throat> he was After fourth he in most improved player voting that out. year. What'd you say? I said he was fourth in most improved player voting that year. He was he was incredible. Because you have to think the year before, like he had almost <clears throat> underachieved because people felt he had it's been true. so dominant in that playoff run in his rookie year. Then everybody came back, and the team was weird, and nobody really knew what they were supposed to be doing, and he was only at, what, 15 points a game or something? 16, yeah, 15-7. Yeah, so he, nobody was, like, impressed by that. Then he comes out, and he's this juggernaut after being named to the All-Star team. Yeah. It was Ingram, Adebayo, Luca, and then Tatum. Interesting. Ingram, what a pick. I mean... He, he, was story. he was the correct pick at the time. But... No, he definitely was. Ah, no, he wasn't. Tatum made better jumps, hundred percent. Looking back, Ingram only won it because he was the best because he changed teams. Ingram averaged eighteen five and three the year before. Tatum averaged sixteen six and two. Yeah, no, Tatum got robbed. <laughs> Tatum just had an objectively better season. <laughs> I'm like looking back. I'm like, wait a second. Um, I guess maybe the percentages. Nah, no, Tatum should have won. Anyways, uh, that doesn't matter. But yeah, Tatum got to sit out, take a little breather. Team USA, good thing. Um, I don't really know what else there's to talk about. This is uh, or scraping or scraping the barrel for you guys. We're we're trying to keep it chugging along here. I um, mean, with Tatum, like <clears throat> it, it does feel like we're due for a big season. Now, now you can factor in the rest. Big, that he yeah. Got. What? What's big in your eyes? I don't disagree, but like, what is, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, I don't think I don't have stats in mind. Improve. It's just going to be like, I hope that I'm watching Shooting him. Better? And I'm like, this guy is, okay. is like the best guy on the floor. And I can obviously see it. Like, you don't have to be like this basketball um, savant where you're like enjoying the small things. Like you can see Tatum on the floor in a close game. And you're like, if he gets the ball, he's gonna get an easy I think shot. That's the biggest thing for me. Just all, just I don't even care if it's a buzzer beater. Just hit a game securing shot. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just to shut people up. I just want one of them. Just one. I don't even care if you go one for ten. Just hit one. I kind just of forgot one. about that. The whole thing you know what of I'm like saying? him missing those shots. But like more of my thing is like two and a half minutes, like three point game. 
is he going to get downhill and use his body and get a layup? I mm-hmm. hope so. Because we he saw was... that in the finals when it got like push come to shove in the finals. He was like, yeah, I'm bigger than everybody. I'm going to the basket. And that was a big piece of growth that we noticed. But like I'm in the you said season, it. did you feel that way? Yeah. Not no, as much. I, not nearly as consistently. He did it a few times, like the Minnesota game you can point to, but it just wasn't as repetitive. I'm glad you said that because if I said it, I would have gotten killed in the comments because <laughs> that's the new bit now. Uh, somebody told me I need to start a Knicks podcast in the last show. I don't even know what I said. I don't know why. Yeah, you Jack, saw that Jack's too, though, been right? getting a ton of hate for no reason. I, I think it's because I said... I was talking about like, oh, I think it's underrating like Julius Randle coming back, blah, 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 all that stuff. But like, I feel like that's not a crazy thing. Like, as There's much as you just like Julius Jack Randle. being like... unbiased. <laughs> yeah, just because. then people are like, Jack is too biased. So when he tries to be unbiased, people are coming to the comments yeah. and cry. And then he, he's he's supporting it's the team. Right. People fucking cry. It's all right. If people you like the show, like, like the show. We appreciate you listening. But like, people don't need to like me. It's if you okay. want to leave constructive criticism, go ahead. But just don't be mean to Jack to be mean to Jack. It's all right. I'll survive. Um, anything else on the KG thing? I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, comment down below. Let us know which player you want to see next for the best game of the season series. And I mean, other it'll, it'll probably be one of the stars. Yeah, other ideas. We got a few today. There was one that said, um, who was it? Philip? Uh, no. Who said it today? They said they want to watch uh, like previews of how they match up with certain teams. Um, it, was it was we'll Philip. It was Philip. Probably we do should that get, closer to the season. We should get people from those who cover those. We teams. should to give us a preview um so maybe we'll save that for the end of august middle of september something like that um i think that'll be fun uh what else i think there were more ideas in the comments but i don't think yeah best play of the year that's another one we can do um we'll we'll get some content out for you don't worry about it but anyways we appreciate y'all for tuning in let us know what you think of kg's take about tatum all that good stuff uh Make sure to leave a like, subscribe on Spotify and on YouTube, and we'll uh, I'll let you take it out. Yeah, thank you very much for listening and watching. Like Jack said, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a like, comment, hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss any of our daily uploads. We have new content at 5 a.m., whether it's full pods, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, game recaps the morning after each game, or other videos like this one in between. We're keeping you up with all the content. You can find us on Spotify and Apple, too. All of our pods and game recaps are there for you. So if you follow, they go right into your feed. Leave a five-star review. We'd appreciate that very much. You can find us via email. HBTCpod at gmail.com is the address for that. If you send your thoughts there, we'll definitely read them on the show, whether it's Celtics thoughts, league thoughts, Ratless thoughts. We take all of them. HBTCpod at gmail.com. You can find us on socials at How About Them Seas. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook's the name of the pod. Streams are there. They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter's at Jack's One NBA. Mine's at Sam LaFrance NBA. It's a pro. Check, check, go.